We're just a group of teenagers from a high school. We never thought we were going to get this far. We got this. This is going places. This is going to do something. It's going to make a change. Like we tell our stories, and they listen, and they think about it. Who knows, they might stop drinking. People had questions about what if it creates places that aren't safe, but what if it can create places that make everything better? Are you guys nervous now? Yeah. No. What about you, Ayla? What? You nervous? Cold. You are? Yeah. Don't be. Well, be a little bit, but not all the way. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, being 5 o'clock, I'm going to call the meeting to order. And I'll ask everyone to rise and the city clerk to say the prayer. Number eight delegations, 9.8, request support for a sober house project, verbal presentation, Westmore students. So I'll ask who's ever going to start speaking, go to the podium and identify yourself, please. Mayor, city councillors, thank you for your time this evening. We would like to begin by acknowledging that Prince Albert is situated on Treaty 6 territory and the homeland of the Métis. We are a group of youth supported by adult allies from Prince Albert who have a vision of a brighter future, a future where sobriety is the norm. My name is Lyndon Howlett and I am 17 years old and uh, I go to school at Westmore. I, I had some uh, trouble growing up <laughs> and one of the things that I used as a coping mechanism was alcohol. I thought it, that it was the best thing in the world. I, I started drinking alcohol at age 11. I don't want people to go through what I did with alcohol. My name is Cameron. I am a SAD council member and a student at Westmore. I have lived in Prince Albert all of my life. I have seen what alcohol can do to a beautiful city. When I was younger, I remember how scary it would be to be with an adult who was drinking. I have a grandma who was my safe place. Everyone should have a safe place like I did. I used to go and visit my dad. They would be drinking or they would already have drank and I didn't like being around them, so I'd go and visit with my grandma. She was my safe person in place. Whenever something I didn't like at the house was there, I'd go and sit with my grandma, play guitar, watch her play bingo on her computer, or just talk. A lot of people are afraid that if they go out after dark, they're going to get hurt. We're trying to take Prince Albert back. not consider access to clean drinking water a human right, yet access to alcohol is considered a human right. I want to be in a sober house because it's more fun that way instead of um, being intoxicated because sometimes it can lead to bad stuff. Mm. Hi there, my name is Ayla and I am a proud member of SAD. I haven't been affected by alcohol other than the fear of under the influence drivers killing my friends and family. Westmore Public High School has around 98% First Nation and Métis students. Prince Albert has potential. It is, it's got very, very beautiful things, but I, I know that it is a city that is hurting. 
and it's hurting because of alcohol. The city needs hope. We all need hope. And when you hear our youth speak in such a manner that they care about their community, they care about themselves, their families, everyone, their, their peers, and when it comes from our children and our youth, that is very uplifting. You speak and then step aside so the next person can go yeah. and, and speak. We are a group of youth supported by adult allies from Prince Albert who have a vision of a brighter future, a future where sobriety is the norm. We are calling our vision the Sober House Project. So we want our audience to sit around here and we're gonna practice our presentation over here. We're gonna practice it just like it will be at City Hall. In Indigenous culture, it's not acceptable to speak out and tell anybody else what to do. I've personally been affected by the impact of alcohol abuse. I grew up with alcohol in my home. The drinking caused fighting in my home. I faced abuse and many problems. This caused me to turn up to alcohol at age 11. There's a lot of kids that start drinking at a very early age, 9, 10, 11. Alcohol's there. And it's, it's very normalized, everyone drinks. It's quite normal to drink at 11. Northern youth have issued a call to action to address drugs and alcohol in our communities. Harold R. Johnson addresses the same issues in his book. Johnson estimates that in Northern Saskatchewan, 50% of all deaths are alcohol related. He asks if we are tired of dying. We are answering yes. Harold Johnson is a Saskatchewan author of Fire Water. How Alcohol is Killing Our People and Yours. A year ago, I brought that book into my classroom as a class study, and it brought out a lot of students' stories. It empowered students to speak up. I contacted Harold, and I said, I love your idea of the Sober House Project. Do you mind if I do, can I do something with it? And he said, absolutely. He said, it's my idea. I put it out in the world so that something might happen. So when I introduced the idea, of the Sober House Project to the kids, they ran with it. The idea is a simple one, inspired by Harold R. Johnson. If you're a person who lives a sober life, you put a sign on your door or in your window declaring your home to be a sober house. A sober house sign means that alcohol is not welcome in your home and neither are intoxicated people. I think the Sober House Project is so important because we need that next step out of treatment. Without that next step and that continual support, you're just gonna go back to the old ways that you had. I think the Sober House Project will create a lot more safe places and safe people. All right, everybody, before we break for lunch, I just wanna say great job, everybody, and thank you for being here today. You guys are awesome. So I just wanted to show you this. I got this in an email, so I just wanted you to watch this message, please. Okay, you guys. Sorry I couldn't be in Prince Albert to be with you as you guys go through this. Uh, I got caught in Toronto. You're doing something that takes a lot of courage. You're taking on an industry and a culture and a story that's been ingrained for hundreds of years before you got here. And it's a very powerful story that has been damaging our people since it arrived here. You make me very proud. I tell you and give you advice on how to proceed and where to get strength from. But watching what you guys have done, you've already figured this out. You got this. Thank you. These kids believe that they are the seventh fire. This is the generation that has felt the pain like no other generation. And we can see that with the, the youth suicides and the crisis that we have in Northern Saskatchewan and everywhere. So they believe that they, these, they are the generation that will wake up and that they're not going to look to others for rescue. I actually am very surprised that that we're able to perform our uh, presentation in front of the city council and the mayor. I'm very surprised about that. We're serious about the project, so I do think that we can make a change even though we're teenagers. Yes, let's get this going. We need this in Prince Albert. I wish more kids had a safe place like I did so that they wouldn't get into drinking and doing drugs like a lot of them probably have.
This one is Sid. He's our first rescue. We got him just about a year ago. It's almost his adoption anniversary. This is uh, Loki. This is Grace. I've seen what elk hall does to our community here, and I want to see it become better in our community than it was, than it used to be. They could probably rescue Prince Albert, and it could probably help bring back everything that we used to have. I hope that I can change some lines tomorrow. need to be a little bit nervous because that little bit of nerve will push us to do great things all right so no matter no matter what you know how people say don't be nervous you don't need to be be a little bit nervous because that nerves pushes you to do it perfectly oh yeah all of us even I'm gonna be a little bit nervous when I'm up there number eight delegations 9.8 request support for a sober house project verbal presentation Westmore students. I have personally been affected by the impact of alcohol abuse. I grew up with alcohol in my home. The drinking caused fighting in my home. I faced abuse and had many problems. This caused me to turn to alcohol at age 11. I believe kids who are exposed to alcohol and violence at an early age will grow up to think that it is normal to drink and suffer from the effects of alcohol. If we can stop the normalization of alcohol, if we can create a community where we support each other in living healthy lives, future generations will not have to suffer. With those kids, I have taught them in my class, so I know where they're coming from, because i that was my youth. But then you hear some of the stories and it makes you so angry. The project was inspired by an, by an idea presented by Harold R. Johnson in his national best-selling book, Firewater. The lack of healthy adults for role models mean that alcohol abuse is normalized and youth are left on their own too much and often begin drinking themselves at an early age. Harold R. Johnson addresses the same issues in his book. Johnson estimates that in Northern Saskatchewan, half of all deaths are alcohol related. He asks if we are tired of dying and we are answering yes. Treaty 6 states, Her Majesty further agrees with her said Indians that within the boundary of Indian reserves, until otherwise determined by her government of the Dominion of Canada, no intoxicating liquor shall be allowed to be introduced or sold. Then in 1969, this part of the treaty was declared in violations of human rights. And so alcohol was allowed on reserves. Canada does not consider access to clean drinking water a human right. Yet access to alcohol is considered a human right. The idea is a simple one. If you are a person who lives a sober life, you put a sign on your door or in your window declaring your home to be a sober house. It is time for change. And so mayor, city councilors, we're asking today for verbal and written support of City Council for the Sober House Project. I would like to move that the City of Prince Albert provide a written message of support to the Sober House Project. No, I'll second. Okay, and ready for the boat? I want to be able to see sober house signs all over Prince Albert and all of the people being able to go places and feel better and not be stuck with friends and family that only drink and only want them to drink. The city council doesn't help. We just continue on from there. We push it on our own because if they can't help us, we can't say we can't help ourselves. We have to still take it as far as we can. 
Yeah. See you later, cousin. Yeah, peace out, cousin. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. We need to start the change in our communities, and we've all seen the effect in our communities. You wouldn't just walk down the street and think, well, I bet you they drink, and they probably drink, and they probably drink too. You wouldn't believe that because you'd see silver house signs. Okay, and ready for the boat? All in favor? Passage unanimously. Thank you. And I'd be pleased to have one of your signs. I don't drink, so it's easy for me to put it on my house. And I'll come down to the front and accept your package. Silver House sign you wanted? All right. And a copy of our Silver House package. Thank you very much. All right. And congratulations. Excellent job speaking. Thank you. You don't sound job. shy at all, Pay. Congratulations. <laughs> Good, Good job. job. Great Thank job. You. Well done. Thank you very much. Delicious. Thank you for being here. Good job, Lyndon. Nice job, Ayla. Thank you. I was extremely nervous. My face is warm, but I feel great. It was amazing. Felt really great that they support us and they believe in us, too. I would say watching the words go across while she was typing was the most amazing thing to me. Just seeing that not only were we pushed to get the written um, support of uh, City Council, we were seconded almost immediately. When I saw the hands go up, and I saw that everybody put their hands up, it was it was amazing, because the hands went up almost instantly, all of them, at the same time. So just to know how much support we have and to know that they're gonna back us and just feels awesome to have the support of just the city council on the side. <laughs> Find that I'm gonna copyright trauma. <laughs> All right, so um, Mr. Bergen came up to me after, and he said that he was talking to one of his friends who's a counselor, and he said that you guys did the best presentation by far, like ever. Like even the counselors don't present that well. Really? Really. So nice job. So impressed. The only time I got nervous was as soon as I was up at that podium. I was like looking at him. Me and the mayor made direct eye contact. And then there goes my composition. <laughs> We're trying to get the Sober House project out there so more kids can feel safe and more adults can get better because it's not on fighting the old, it's on building the new. We can be the people who help others. We can show that people help people and people don't let people fade away and lose their lifestyle call. last night with your group there in the city hall. Yeah, right? Cameron. Cameron, I'm yes. Hannah. Nice to meet you. I'll okay. bring your silver house package. OK, I will definitely sign this. Anytime you can help you guys, that is just awesome. Thank you very much. Want to put it on the window? Sure. OK, let's do it. I feel like someone else is going to eventually come to this house and eventually start calling her mom or grandma. Just, it'll be their sober house with her, and it'll be like, come up and say, hi, how are you, grandma? How are you doing today? Staying sober, and this is gonna be another sober community. Hey, 
Yo.